Hey guys, welcome to a, a tutorial, I guess, for my pickle farm. <laughs> there seemed to be a lot of interest uh, in this here farm, and I know I did a tutorial during a Hermitcraft episode, um, but I figured why not do a tutorial, like a standalone kind of tutorial deal. Um, so this is, I think, everything you're going to need right up in here uh these are just building blocks any like whatever building blocks you choose those are completely up to you um i'm not gonna like try and tell you what to build <laughs> with so uh so as you can see i do have a few over there built uh what you're gonna want to start with is a three by four <laughs> yes i'm doing this in, in survival um i figured it's it's better to show like in survival than it is to like just build it like in creative because then you know people are like i don't know what just happened there <laughs> and so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put a chest there uh so that's the front right corner right behind it a hooper and then right here is where we're actually going to place our coral it doesn't have to be the blue coral it could be any kind of coral uh, we're going to bring over some blocks like this i also made a little bit of a change to the one i built on hermitcraft uh, as you can see right there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to dig you down like this. We're going to grab one of our sticky pistons. And we're going to slap it right here. And then we need to put... I think this is how this goes. <laughs> I always forget how to place these things. Uh, we're going to go there. And then we're going to bust down up in here. And we're going to go boop. And so those are actually doing their thing as you can see. Go ahead and fill that back in. We'll grab our lever, slap it right there, and there you go. It's no longer doing its thing. And then uh, we need a block. And then right there, we're actually going to need water. So we're going to go up like that. And there we go. We need water here. So let's go ahead. Actually, we should put our, dr our dispensers first. So we'll slap some dispensers like that. Bust that out. We'll slap our other sticky piston up against that block right there. Boom. You want to make sure you place your sticky piston before you get all of the stuff in right here. Uh, because it could actually kind of make everything not work. Yeah. And you need two buckets of water. So we've got that placed in there. Let's go ahead and put our coral in now. Now that they're against water, they should be fine. Let's get some more blocks. And we're going to bring those across that way. We'll go ahead and stick one right there. Uh, I think you need one right there because it's got to activate. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go ahead, place our one wall on top of the hopper. And then our stairs. You can use a slab or whatever. I, I like stairs because it attaches to uh, the wall and just makes it flat. Right? And then we're going to grab our water, our second water. We're going to stick it right there, right in front of the two dispensers. We're going to slap down our rail on this up, you know, the one next to the wall, like so. We're going to slap, grab our hopper mine cart, slap it there, drop down in, push it into the wall. That's very important. Push it into the wall. Break that. That doesn't really matter. <laughs> and then we're going to get our other observer and we're going to slap it there. And you're basically done. You're done. Uh, if I had some bone meal, <laughs> which I guess would be a good reason to be in creative, uh, we'll go ahead and grab some bone meal. Well, actually, no, you need to put your sea pickles. Sea pickles. Four sea pickles. I guess you could start with one sea pickle and it'll be fine. I'll actually go ahead and show that. Let's grab some bony meals. There we go. And there we go. Now, however you get the, the bone meal into these is up to you. Uh, the What I did is I put a hopper like that, like that, and like that. So that one's aiming down. The one in the corner is aiming into that one. And this one's aiming down. And then you would get uh, your chest and go like that. And then that way, any bone meal you put into here will go down into both of these, as you can see. And so, all we got to do is turn it on. And turn down music, or blocks. 
And as you can see, it is working. You can look in there. Everything's hunky dory. You can see the, the minecart chest or the, the hopper mine, the minecart, the hopper minecart straightened itself out. It's getting sucked down into here and placed into here. Done and dusted, as they might say, right? Super compact, super clean. Looks pretty good from the front. Uh, so this is, if you're not familiar, this is the design I had before where the piston was right there. I went ahead and stuck it back uh, because I could. I didn't know I could at the time, or I just didn't realize I could. Um, and so that's what I did here. So it's the exact same thing. This one, same exact thing, except it's only got the one dispenser. So I ran these, all of these, with a with both both dispensers full. That's how much this one produced. That's how much this one produced. These two are pretty close, as they should be. It's the exact same farm, pretty much. Uh, this one has the one dispenser produced slightly less, and then this one is a double. So basically what I did is I just mirrored what we just built here on the right side using the same, you know, the, the same layout, just flip like mirrored. <laughs> and then I ran uh, the redstone down below, and that's how that works. And so that lever there, just, I was trying to get like a clean kind of look on the front of it. Again, I'm just using iron blocks because it's easier to see where they are and how many and whatever. But it's a super, super simple farm. Pretty automatic and uh, I do believe completely lossless. Uh, because everything that pops up off of that, that guy there ends up inside this hopper. This uh, hopper minecart and then gets down into here and then push down in below, right? And then you can see this is draining out into here. It's it's obviously using it faster than it's getting pumped in. <laughs> I, th I But I have no control over that. So yeah, hopper's slow. That's all I'm saying. But that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys are able to follow along. And it, it's a really nice sea pickle farm. Like, if you've got just a ton of bone meal or you've got a, bone, a source of bone meal, you just pipe it in, and it's it's fully automatic. You just come over, you flip a switch. That's it. That's all you got to do. Right? That's pretty great, as far as I'm concerned. But that's going to do it for uh, this one. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. See you next time.